Hello Excel Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple settings that you can change in your XML file to make things more convenient for you when you're designing uh, in Dental CAD. Uh, this is going to be these these settings are they're, they're minor tweaks to the program, uh, but I feel at least for me in my workflow, and I've gotten um, several questions from members um, about how to enable these settings. Um, uh, you'll see that it's much more convenient, at least, um, at least for me. So uh, here we have the dental DB job definition. We're going to be doing an anatomic crown on number eight uh, and an antagonist on the lower and we'll start dental CAD. I'm going to show you the issues, at least that I have, um, and then how to make those changes. So we start dental CAD. And I'm going to load our scans for crown on number eight. So we'll load the upper jaw. And then load the lower jaw. Okay, set our orientation. And draw our margin. So in this case, I'm not too concerned about the margin. I just want to show you, uh, I want to get that crown designed so I can get to the settings that I'm talking about. All right, you can see ExoCAD defined an insertion axis for us, what it thinks is kind of the best guess. And for me, um, you know, maybe 75% of the time, it's an okay insertion direction. Um, but that 25% 20 of the time, I wanna go back and change the insertion direction. Um, so the way that you change the insertion direction, insertion direction now is having to go into expert mode our expert toolbar here and clicking insertion direction and that brings up the insertion direction step um, and this shows us our um, undercuts uh, undercut visualization and, and so I always like to do I always like to make sure and in this case I want to make sure that we are clo as close to uh, parallel with number nine so we reduce any embrasure space so in this case I actually want a little bit of an undercut because I want my contact area on number nine to be very long and broad so I'm going to set this view as the insertion axis and then click OK and then go back to the wizard so that first setting that we're going to determine is the first step that we're going the first setting that we're going to change is always having to do the insertion direction uh, before moving forward with placing our crown. So I don't want the automatic uh, insertion direction. So that's number one. So we go back to the wizard. And we're going to finish just designing any old crown. This doesn't, this isn't going to be uh, production quality. Uh, and I'm just going to put in a library tooth. Okay, um, so in this case, I'm going to make it a, a bigger tooth.
And in order to show you what I'm going to do, All right, so maybe that's how I want my tooth. So I've checked the occlusion now. Uh, so I go to next. This is in general the form that I would want, let's say. Um, not in reality, just for demonstration purposes. So we go to free form here and I wanna remove all of these heavy, heavy contacts here. So I Remove the contacts. Okay, there's the there's a good occlusion for this crown. And now when I turn off the jaw scan and I try to um, adjust the adjacent contacts, I can't see them. What I always have to do is go up to my visualization bar and always click adjacents. And so now I can see what the contact area is like. Well, for me, uh, it's just annoying to have to go and click that every single time. So um, I want to enable the adjacents by default. So that's the second setting that we're going to change is to always have this checked when we have our visualization and show distances uh, radio button on. So those are the two settings. Uh, and in order to change these, we need to go to our ExoCAD folder. So mine is uh, on my C drive here. I put a uh, Dropbox on the C drive and then put ExoCAD there and that way all of my case data gets synced whenever I do something uh, across all of my workstations. Uh, and it also syncs the settings that we're about to change. So if I'm at workstation one right now and I make these changes, that will uh, update the XML file on all of my workstations because it's in my Dropbox folder. Uh, so I go to Dental CAD app, config, and the XML file that we're going to be changing is default settings. Um, uh, I believe it's default settings, yes. Default settings, and if you've got a settings dot xml file that's the uh, one that you would um, be editing you can you can uh, read this warning here um, to copy to the settings that xml file and make the changes there because anytime uh, the default settings is kind of your backup so um, we're in dental cad app and um, the code that we're going to add i gotta go find that so uh, hold on a second. So here are the uh, XML tags that we're going to add. To enable the adjacents to be checked by default, we want to add this XML tag, auto show distance to antagonist enabled adjacent, and we want to make that value true. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste it in our XML file. To always show the insertion direction in the wizard workflow, we're going to use the XML tag uh, always correct insertion access and we're going to make the value true. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And to show the neighboring teeth, instead of just showing the margin, I want to always show the, the teeth. I'm going to add the tag insertion direction. Uh, it's the tag insertion direction show neighboring teeth and the value is true. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in our XML file. You always want to make a backup of the XML file that you're editing just in case. Um, so, you know, ExoCAD doesn't um, just say, oh, there's an error here and it doesn't um, process the error. It'll just crash, it just won't work. So always make a backup before you make these changes and so now we've saved it. I'm not going to save this and I'm going to exit out of Dental DB. Let's start Dental DB again with this new XML file and we'll show you what the changes are or how they're incorporated. So uh, 
I'm going to load our setting test and we're going to make crown number eight. And we'll start Dental CAD. So we have an error here, uh, an error report, and it says that the default settings.xml has an invalid format. And error during initialization with a bunch of stuff that I don't know what it means, but we can see right here at the top, it's our default settings.xml produced an error and we can't even start dental CAD. So that's why you always want to make a backup uh, a backup just in case so you can delete the new file and just save your backup as the original file. So we're going to close this and uh, I'm going to go back to that file to see what the issue is. So dental CAD app config and default settings.xml And uh, looking at this file, I've added my three uh, tags here, um, but I put them outside of the application settings provider CAD tag. You can see at the very beginning, we've got application settings provider CAD uh, as the start of our XML uh, file, and then we have it at the end here and all of our settings need to be within those start and finish tags so I have to take my three tags auto show distance to antagonist enabled adjacent always correct insertion axis and insertion direction show neighboring teeth so I'm going to cut and paste right before the end of our closing tag and now I'm going to save the XML file. Okay, now let's start dental DB again and see if that corrects the issue. I'm actually going to do a new one because it might have saved the XML settings um, without doing new ones. So I'm going to start a new case. So we've got a crown on number eight, and now let's go forward with Dental CAD. Okay, so now it asks us to load our scan data, so we'll do that. So at least we got it to start. Load the upper jaw. And load the lower jaw. And this is a new case, so even though they're the same scan files, it's a new case. So nothing is saved from before. Our margin isn't saved. Um, but our workflow isn't saved either, so whatever automatically goes in the wizard workflow is how we've defined it um, in our XML file, in our, in our program files. So we're going to define a margin. And now we're brought to insertion direction. So this is great. Uh, our XML tag for insertion direction stuck. It's saved. And so we're going to do that for our 
all of our crowns now, we're going to define the insertion direction before moving forward with the crown bottom step. This is also helpful, helpful when designing bridges because then we can define um, a uniform insertion direction for bridges. We don't have to go into expert mode. Uh, or if you're designing multiple crowns that you want to uh, share the path of draw, like if you're making provisionals all as a single unit, uh, you want them to all have the same line of draw. Uh, we're just going to put that regular crown in. Okay, so we can clearly see that our uh, antagonist occlusion is visible. And when I go up to the visual visualizer, the adjacence is also checked. So uh, we can also see our neighboring contacts as well. So those are on by default. So um, with those two changes now, I think it will, uh, it, it makes makes it easier on me I don't have to go back and forth and multiple button clicks um, and really the program is just how I like it uh, so more customization for me um, so I hope that helps you in your workflow uh, kind of streamlining things and make things a little bit more straightforward and automated for your designs so thanks so much for joining me and have a great day